Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here at the other range, the other garage, <laughs> doing some shooting today. It's actually a pretty cold and wet and rainy day out. It's still pretty cold in here, but it's actually a lot better than being outside in the rain. So I figured I'd uh, come over here and uh, do a little bit of plinking. <clears throat> and uh, the gun we're gonna be taking a look at in this video is one that was actually sent over to me by one of the viewers of the channel, one of my channel members. And uh, he asked me to adjust the trigger for him and see if I could get it working better. And uh, I was able to tune that up. I did a video on that already and that'll be posted up uh, in my channel as well. But what we have here is a very, very nice uh, Inschutz Model 335 Springer that uh, Best I can tell this one, so they made these from 1980 up until 2003, but this one is actually marked as made in West Germany. So uh, we all know our history lesson, the West German or the Berlin Wall fell in November of 1989. So <clears throat> more than likely this one was made uh, before that date. So we're gonna say it's somewhere between 1980 and probably 1990 this one was made and uh, I'm going to be shooting it off my Sunway photo tripod here so the groups might not be perfect uh, but it, it should really uh, help out a lot it's a lot better than shooting it off hand um, I could shoot off of a rest here but I like playing around doing different stuff so we'll give that a try uh, I've got a couple different kinds of pellets out here I did check the zero on this thing with my Crossman Premier hollow points um, I also have some uh, RWS R10 match uh, wad cutters, and I have some uh, RWS Super Dome uh, domed 8.3 grain pellets. Got a couple others there too, but I don't know if we'll get into those or not. But uh, we'll do a few groups with each of those and uh, see how we do. Um, start. I did, like I said, I did double check the zero with the. Crossman Premier Hollow Point, so we'll start out with that. This is a really cool gun. It's got a uh, barrel latch on it, so you get a real nice positive lockup. Um, very easy to cock, very quiet cocking stroke. There's just a little bit of spring buzz in it when it, when it fires, but nothing too terrible. Nothing that I would ever worry about. I might, I might open it up and put a little bit of grease on the spring if I was going to do anything with it. But I really think that uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic shooting gun. And uh, so this uh, does give a little bit of give. So you can, uh, you know, you let the recoil happen with the gun. But it still is pretty stable. So really... Uh, Not quite, not quite bench rest quality uh, stabilization, but they called it a hunting tripod for a reason. This gun's got some good power. I've got a piece of uh, half inch plywood behind my box on the other side of the garage here and those pellets are almost going through that half inch plywood. <laughs> Not bad for a nice old Springer. So when I first got this, the trigger was, the best I could describe it was very vague. It was, it was long and creepy felt like you were pulling it like half an inch, but it probably was less than that, but it really felt like you were pulling it like half an inch and uh, <clears throat> never knew exactly when it was gonna break. And uh, there's two adjustment screws on there and I was able to adjust it so it actually felt like a nice crisp trigger again, but the spring that was in there was just unbelievably heavy and uh, I was able to find another spring that was much, much lighter. I'll ship the old one back with the gun when I send it back to David, but uh, it 
with the original spring in there that it had, uh, it was when I had it adjusted so that it actually felt like a decent trigger and you knew when it was going to break, it was almost three pounds, um, which isn't terrible, which isn't horrible, but for a gun that you want to shoot and really enjoy, uh, I think that uh, when I got it down, when I first tuned it up, I was hitting 11 ounces. And while I was doing my video showing you guys how to do it, I actually twisted one of the controls and it went just a little over a pound. So I, didn't, I haven't messed with it since then, but uh, it's still a fantastic trigger. Oh, I pulled that one. So, all right, so let's, uh, that's the Crossman Premier Hollow Points. Now let's move on to the Super Domes. I'm not sure these are a little bit heavier than the uh, Crossman, so it probably should have a fairly similar point of impact. The uh, wad cutters I brought out are quite a bit, quite a bit lighter. I didn't bring anything out super, super heavy, but uh, these are the heaviest ones I brought. So let's go to 12 o'clock with this guy. Similar point of impact from the Crossman's. I don't think I mentioned it already, and if you haven't watched one of my videos from this uh, alternate range here, <laughs> This building is uh, 65 feet long. I'm just a little bit away from the door. From what I've found in the past, from here to where my target is, is about 21 paces. And my paces tend to be just a little over uh, a yard or three feet. So uh, I'm just calling it 21 yards for... Same hole. <laughs> this is just a fabulous gun. I did bring out another uh, another old Springer from my collection to do a head-to-head -head challenge with this guy with, and I'll be doing that after I finish this one up, but I really wanted to put this one through its paces first and test it out. All right, not quite in the same hole, but very close. I, uh, I brought out my Fine Work Bow Model 124 which from all I can tell that was made in probably about the early to mid 70s. So it's a little bit older than this one, but it is a fine shooting gun too. And I think these two will be a really close match. All right, it's looking pretty good. Just love an old Springer. I had, a, I had a couple others in my hand that I couldn't make a really make up a good decision on what I wanted to bring out. I had my Winchester 435, which is actually a Diana Model 35. I had my Virau HW50. And I had a Diana 34. <laughs> and uh, I decided on the Fine Work Bow. Any of those would have been great choices. All right, last shot with the RWS Ultra Domes. That's a good looking group. All right, let's, I do like this. Uh, you can just lay it right in there. You gotta be careful you don't bump it out of the, <laughs> but it is a very, very uh, <clears throat> nice rest. So let's go ahead and uh, Try these RWS R10 matches, or yeah, the, these are the R10 match 7.0 7 grains. I thought about grabbing the 8.2s, but I really wanted to try something lighter. Uh, the other ones are 7.9 and 8.3, so all right, let's go down to 6 o'clock. Ooh, nice. I have found that these pellets are 
pretty nice shooting pellets in a, a mild, mild mannered Springer. So that's why I wanted to kind of try it in these because these are not a powerhouse. Ooh, kind of bobbling around a little bit. I have not, I've not even tested this over the chronograph and I probably won't get an opportunity to because when, once I get this home from shooting this uh, video, I'm going to pack it back up in the box and get it on its way back to, uh, on its way back to David. So all right. None of those groups are anything that I would ever complain about from a Springer, for sure. Especially shooting in the mode that I'm shooting here. If I was shooting it off of a bench rest with a rear bag and you know, being all precise like that, I, I think I would expect them maybe a little tighter but uh, that's nothing to complain about. Alrighty, one ragged hole. <laughs> there you go. That is the Anschutz Model 335. Very nice gun. It does not even come with the opportunity to mount uh, iron sights on it and uh, it really deserves some nice optics but uh, there you go that is a fantastic gun i'm gonna have to probably look around and find me one of those now that i've had a chance to try it out but uh, be getting that back to its owner soon and i uh, hope to hear good reports on his uh, groups that he can do with it now so Trigger's fantastic on it, a little over one pound. Could probably get it down a little bit lighter, just adjust the uh, sear engagement a little bit, but um, I've done a video. If he wants to try to touch it up anymore, I'll let him do that himself. But really appreciate everybody being on the channel. Till next time, have a great day.